everyone. My name is Amber Ruffin, and I'm going to talk to you today about the angel of the battlefield, Clara Burton. <laughs> OK, our story begins during the Civil War. It's got f***ing fatalities, f***ing people are <gasps> So the Union Army's surgeon, Dr. James Dunn, was like, hey, dudes, this is some bullshit. We are low on antiseptic. We are low on bandages. We do not have the supplies to handle the amount of bloodshed. <laughs> OK. Meanwhile, a teacher, Clara Barton, is like, I will worry about the soldiers of the Union Army. Hello, government. We need more medical supplies. Can you help me help your f***ing soldiers? And the government is like, oh, no. <laughs> and she's like, you know what? Your bitch ass needs to come correct. They're like, we will not come Come correct. <laughs> oh, no, I spilled it. I'm sorry, I'm yelling. Oh, my gosh. I'm also sorry for being sorry, because who does that help? No one. Ah! OK, so she asked the Ladies Aid Society, send me medical supplies, and I will bring them to the front lines. Meanwhile, in Sharpsburg, Maryland, the Confederate General Robert E. Lee was like, it is September 17th, 1862. And that's when the Battle of Antietam began. The Battle of Antietam! ba ba boo <laughs> The Battle of Antietam was the bloodiest single-day battle in American history. So James Dunn is like, we are grossly underprepared. And it's at that exact moment that it burst Clara Barton with a train of wagons filled with supplies. And she's like, watch out, everybody, because the union is coming. It's like a <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. I brought your ass everything you need. Dr. James Dunn is like, I need antiseptic. She's like, I got that shit. He's like, do you have bandages? She's like, yeah, bitch, I got bandages. He's like, what we need is normal shit, like socks and food. And she's like, you know what? Abracadabra, bitch. And he's like, oh my god, you are the angel of the battlefield. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. She's like, stop thanking me. I have work to do. She starts working on wounded soldiers with no experience whatsoever. And at that moment, a bullet pierces her sleeve. And she's like, do you see this shit, dude? And the guy is like, I don't see that shit because I'm dead. Because the bullet that pierced her sleeve killed the very guy she was saving. So she's like, this sucks, but I am going to move on to the next thing. And move on to the next thing she does. <laughs> and at the end of the day, uh, Dr. James Dunn is sitting by himself in a dark barn. Clara Barton is like, Dr. Dunn, what the f are you doing? He's like, I am depressed. Night has fallen. I can't see shit. Hundreds of soldiers will die. Clara Barton is like, bitch, don't you know? She grabs him by the hand. She takes him to another barn. And this barn is lit with lanterns. She's like, you think I brought your ass socks, but I didn't bring you lanterns to light your surgeries? What the f is wrong with you? And he's like, I love you so much. You are truly the angel of the battlefield. Claire Barton is like, you done call me that already. F come up with some new shit. She doesn't burp, but I wish she did, so that I could also burp. She's like, Amber, if you feel like burping, you can burp. And I'm like, I'm darker than you think. She's like, you're very drunk. And I'm like, I am. You're all good. I need 
should say it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so that's the end of the war. And everyone is like, Clara Barton, you rule. And someone special wants to meet with you. President Abraham Lincoln! <laughs> <laughs> and President Lincoln is like, Clara Barton, you did such a good job at the Battle of Antietam. You need to be the head of the os office, offices, the Ossif, the office. Lincoln is drunk, but what he means is, Claire Martin, you need to be the head of the office of missing soldiers. She's like, I will. I super will. And so she finds over 22,000 soldiers. President Lincoln is like, bitches on fire. And then they kiss. Just kidding, they never kissed. <laughs> um, and in 1878, Clara Barton started the American chapter of the Red Cross. Clara Barton is like, I am the founder of the American Red Cross. Plus, I'm the angel of the battlefield. I f***ing changed America itself. I win. And everyone is like, you do win. Then.